Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So in this slide what we are going to do is we are going to study 4 bit arithmetic circuit and this circuit contains 4 full adders and 4, 4 cross 1 MUX. So as you know that what actually MUX do is MUX takes selection bit and according to the selection bit it, it actually pass that value in its output field. So for example if our selection bits are 0 0 it will pass the value of B in the output and if our selection is 0 1 then it will pass B complement value right here and if our selection value would be 1 0 then it will pass this 0 right here and if our selection bit is 1 1 then what actually MUX will do is it will pass this 1 value right here and down here what actually is we have simply implemented our adder so it is our actually 4 bit adder so now what we are going to do is we are going to verify that whenever we give this input we would produce this given output okay so let's suppose we have given our selection bit 0 0 and our input carry input is 0 so whenever our selection bit value is 0 0 it will actually pass the value of b in the output so the value of b naught will come here b1 will come right here b2 and from here is b3 and here we have attached the bits of a0 a1 a2 and a3 and the carry input value is right here is 0 so what actually full adder will do is it will actually compute a plus b because it is a full adder and we have given bits of a and b as input so it will simply compute a plus b so let's suppose that our selection bit are 0 0 same as of previous case but our carry in value is 1 so now what will happen is as we have given the input value as bits of a and b it will compute a plus b but now we have also given the input value of carry input as 1 so now the resultant would be a plus b plus 1 okay so this is a plus b plus 1 now take another example for example our selection bit are 0 1 and carry input value is 0 so for selection 0 1 the mux will pass the complemented value of b so b naught complement will come here b1 complement will come here b2 complement will come here and b3 complement will come here and carry in value is 0 so now what we have given the values to our full adder is the bits of a and complemented bits of b so actually what our full adder will do is a plus b complement now take example that our selection bit is same so complemented values are coming here and there is a change that our carry bit is 1 so now what would be the output is a plus b complement plus 1 ok so this is given right here now what we are going to do is we are going to the next example for example our selection bit is 1 0 and our carry bit is 0 so for the selection bit 1 0 the output of the mux would be 0 so all the bits y0, y1, y2 and y3 are 0 and other bits are a0, a1, a2 and a3 and carry bit is 0 so basically it is saying that we have to do addition of a plus 0 so the result would be simply a a plus 0 is equal to a now take an example that we have a carry input as 1 now what would happen is as we have input bits of a and other input bits uh, in our full adder are 0 and our carry input is 1 so basically what our full adder would do is it will compute a plus 1 now our last couple is take the selection bit 1 1 and carry bit as 0 so when our selection bit would be 1 1 the mux will pass this value 1 as its output so the input to our full adder at y0 would be 1, y1 would be 1, y2 the value of y2 would be 1 and the value of y3 would be 1 and other bits x0, x1, x2 and x3 contains the bits of a as input and here our carry input is 0. So basically what our full adder would do is it will compute a-1 and how this a-1 is actually computed is 1 1 1 1 is actually the binary of 2's complement of minus 1 
so actually we are saying our full adder to add a plus minus 1 so a plus minus 1 is actually a minus 1 now let's suppose that the carry input value was 1 okay so now what would be the output is as we have given the input value to our full adder the bits of a and the other bits are 1 1 1 1 which is actually the two's complement of the value of minus 1 we are actually giving it input as minus 1 to add minus 1 in the value of a and here we are saying that add 1 in the result so basically what it would compute is it would compute a plus 1 minus 1 so plus 1 and minus 1 would be cancelled out and the output produced would be the value of a so finally we have completed 4 bit arithmetic circuit so friends if you understand the lecture do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos so i hope you understand the lecture give this video a thumbs up if you have any question do comment and subscribe to our channel teach me technically thanks for watching friends